Councilmember Orlando Goods continues to face fallout over sexual harassment allegations. This comes after a lawsuit has been filed on behalf of a former legislative aide and her daughter. ABC Action News reporter Mary O'Connell has been following this story for us since the beginning. She joins us now in the studio with the allegations. Mary. Well, this lawsuit against Councilmember Goods describes several incidents which allege amount to abusive and sexually insensitive behavior as well as actions that were discriminatory and demeaning. Tampa City Council member Orlando Goods now facing a lawsuit filed this week alleging emotional distress and defamation. The lawsuit describes several incidents involving a former legislative aide to Goods. In one incident, the lawsuit says, quote, at times Mr. Goods refused to discuss community issues with local activists and leaders who were not providing sexual favors to him. Further stating Goods use anti-Semitic terms while also referring to other city council members in vulgar terms. The lawsuit states each time the aide told Goods his behavior was inappropriate, he would become even more erratic, while depicting the aide as being, quote, too sensitive. The lawsuit says Goods, quote, was a misogynist who engaged in sexually suggestive behavior towards and about women and even minor children. In another incident, the lawsuit says Goods made statements regarding the aide's then 13-year-old daughter's breasts, making her daughter, quote, profoundly uncomfortable and left a mental scar. The lawsuit later alleges Goods began directing sexually charged comments toward his young intern. Some of the alleged incidents in the filing are too graphic for broadcast. We put the full copy of the lawsuit online at abcactionnews.com. We shared with you back in March how a report detailed sexual harassment allegations by a former legislative aide against Goods, with Goods later stepping down as city council chairman. In a previous statement, Goods said, quote, while I disagree with the entirety of the findings in the report regarding my former legislative aide, I do accept responsibility for comments that I made that, while not sexual harassment, were not appropriate for the workplace. The mayor's office had no comment at this time. We also reached out to Good's attorney for a statement and are still waiting to hear back. But I did contact council member Goods himself today asking for a response to this lawsuit. Goods told me by text that legal counsel is handling these issues.